when you repeat the experiment of heating naphthalene, but this time we add an impurity such as camphor to naphthalene and record the temperature at half a minute intervals, the curve obtained will be a little different because the camphor is an impurity and it interferes with the melting and boiling points of substances. The curve that is going to be obtained will look like what we'll see in the next slide. The heating curve obtained when impure naphthalene is heated will look something like this. At this point, take note that the boiling point will not be a constant temperature, but rather a region. So, naphthalene will begin to melt at a range of temperature below the actual melting point. And this is the cooling curve for impure naphthalene.